This is Rocket, and today he's going to be having a bath. There are a few different ways to give a cat a bath, and one of them is to attempt to do it from the outside, but conveniently, we have one of those um, shower bathroom combo units, so we can actually uh, keep the cat contained and not jumping out of the bath, which is the real challenge because a wet cat running all over your house is a really bad thing. So I'm just going to get in the water with him in order to bathe him. So I'm going to be using some aloe and oatmeal shampoo and uh, I don't recommend you try this at home. As you can see, I am wearing full length uh, sleeves and even jeans. If I, if I had a jean jacket, I'd be wearing that because even the nicest, most well-mannered cats, like Rocket here, are bound to scratch you a little bit if you try and submerge them in water. So, wish me luck! Getting in the bath with your clothes on is kind of a weird experience, and it's even weirder with a cat. You can see his claws are all, he's all upset now. But that's okay, baby. Oh, it's okay, baby. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is actually get the cat wet. Um, uh, I've seen it recommended that you try things like bringing a toy in, or, um, you know, speaking comfortingly, all that kind of stuff, but Rocket just hates baths. Uh, the easiest thing to do with him is get him in, get him shampooed, get him rinsed, and get him out into a nice warm towel. So, the first step is restraining him in a way that's not going to be harmful to him and harmful to you, and getting some water action going on. So, oh baby, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. He'll try to climb me to get to the highest point. Um, maybe that makes him feel safer, but he's not any safer because he's coming back down. Come on, baby. It's okay. Uh, a lot of the time, it's a lot easier to hold him and then use a, a yogurt bucket to actually get him wet. you got to get the coat nice and wet or the shampoo's not going to be as effective. And so we'll be back in a minute. Did you start? Oh, okay, well, you can see that the, the uh, glass is pretty steamy here. The reason is that the bath has to be quite hot because cat's body temperature is a little bit higher than people. So you don't want to uh, get them too cold in the bathtub. So we're going to start by applying shampoo into his coat. Let's see if I can get him turned around just a little bit here. He's calmed down quite a bit in the time that uh, we've been working on him. So we're just going to go ahead Give him some more shampoo. Now it's pretty important when you're getting the shampoo out to rinse really thoroughly because uh, cats will lick themselves dry and they'll lick themselves clean. And even if you're using a, uh, a cat shampoo, it's still not something that you want them to consume large amounts of. So uh, it's, yeah, it's really, really, really important to rinse them thoroughly. In fact, we're not even going to be able to use the bath water to rinse him we're going to have to use fresh water from the faucet. So what you might have to do if your cats are afraid of the sound of the faucet is get some reserves of water before you start so that you can dump that over them. But uh, these guys aren't any more agitated by the faucet than they are just by the uh, concept of a bath. So we're just going to run it with them. Okay, well, I have some more shampooing to do, but we'll be back in a minute. All right, we've got him completely soaked up now. His belly, his top, his legs, his tail, everything is done. So all that's left now is to rinse him off. So we're going to go ahead and start the water. Okay, baby, it's okay. Okay, baby, it's okay. And rinse him off. Preferably, or at least a, a couple of very dry towels because 
This is one miserable little kitty. Look at him. See, say hi, Rocket. Okay. Now it's Rumble's turn, and I just sort of realized that I got started here that there were two more things I wanted to mention. Uh, first of all, make sure you clip the nails first because, well, let's see, look, even if your cat loves you as much as Rumble loves me, he could potentially hurt you. So uh, make sure you clip those nails. And then the last one is if you have a thermostat for your bathroom, turn it up all the way because, as you can see from Rocket down there, even when you towel dry them, um, they're going to want to lick themselves off. And if they have a nice warm room to do it in, they'll be a lot less cold while they're trying to do that.